Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We have learned about resistors, a device that opposes the flow of current. The device which I am holding in my hand is called as carbon resistor. Here I have one more. They opposes the flow of current. In this video, we will learn what happens when resistors are connected in series. When we say resistors, it uh, might be a bulb. a filament or even a device. Here I have taken three resistors. When we connect the resistors in this manner, then we call the combination a series combination. In a series combination, we connect one end of the resistor to the another end of the second resistor. This N to N connection is referred as series connection. You remember that. Here I have taken three carbon resistors, each having a resistance of one kilo ohm. One kilo means thousand ohm. Now let me show you what happens when the resistors are connected in the series with the help of a multimeter. Now first I will I will set this multimeter to read the resistance. For that I will turn this towards this. Now it is capable of reading resistance up to 20 kilo ohm. First, I will place the probe between these two ends. First, across the first resistor. It reads 0.99. That means 1 kilo ohm. For betterment, I connect, uh, I turn this to read up to 2000 ohm. Now let me measure this. Ah, now it shows 989 ohm. That is uh, almost 1000 or 1 kilo ohm. Now I do the same for this uh, resistor. It also read around 1000 ohm. That is 978 ohm. And the, the third one. It also read Uh, it shows that the third one also have resistance around 1000 ohm. That is 971 ohm. Now, uh, I have soldered them in this manner. Now, they are in series. Let me check the total resistance. I will keep one probe here and another probe. Is placed here. Okay, I'll, the resistance is more than three kilo ohm, so I turn the knob. And see, it is two point nine five, which which is around three thousand ohm or three kilo ohm. This uh, shows that when resistors are taken in series their resistance get added up. A resistor is represented by this symbol. Here I consider three resistors R1, R2 and R3 connected in series to a cell which provides electric potential V and because of which current I flows in the circuit. Here when we say series combination. It means that we connect the second terminal of 
the first resistor to the first terminal of a second resistor. Now we know current I is nothing but rate of flow of charge through a conductor. It means the number of charges flowing through a conductor in a given time T. In the circuit, we do not have any accumulator to accumulate the charge. So, the number of charges flowing through R must flow through R2 and R3 as well. So, the current in R1, R2 and R3 will be equal to I. So, the same current flows through R1, R2 and R3 represented by letter I. So, I is constant here. I is a constant in the circuit. And the second thing, uh, potential difference or voltage can be obtained with the help of Ohm's law. Ohm's law says that V equals to I R. So, with the help of Ohm's law, we can obtain voltage across R1, R2 and R3. We know when the same current flows through different resistors of a different value, the voltage across these resistors will not be same. So, the voltage across R1 is V1, the voltage across R2 is V2 and the voltage across R3 is considered as R uh, V3. The voltage supplied by this cell is taken as V. For my convenience, I take this one as V equals to IR. Instead of yes, R, I take it as R, yes. Here, yes represents a series combination. And uh, I take this equation as equation number 1. Now, I will write the value of V1, V2 and V3. Here, V1 is taken as IR. Here, V2 is taken as IR. In the place of R, yes, I take R1. But uh, I is kept as such because it do not vary throughout the circuit. Then V2 is taken as IR2 and V3 is taken as IR3. In this three equation, not only this three equation, including this equation, all the four equations, I value remains the same. Now, if you want to find out the total voltage across this circuit, then it can be done by adding V1, V2 and V3. But here the aim is to get the equivalent resistance or the total resistance offered by these resistors in series. So for that, I am going to substitute the value of V, V1, V2 and V3 from these four equations. So V is nothing but I R yes and V1 is equal to I R 1, V2 equals to I R 2 and V3 equals to I R 3. Uh, in this equation, I is a common. So it is taken out. I write a remaining term within bracket. So I obtain this. Now in the next step, I will keep this as such. I will bring I 
to the left hand side. So I'll get this. It is multiplying here. Here it will divide. Yeah. And the remaining terms will remain as such. Now, this i and this i get cancelled. The next step is rs equals to r1 plus r2 plus r3. This shows that resistance of resistors connected in series can be obtained by adding individual resistance of the resistor. Now I will tell you one shortcut to remember uh, how the current and voltage varies in a series combination. In a series combination, in a series com combination, always remember voltage changes, V changes, but the current remains same. It is obvious from these equations. You see, I remains same, but the voltage changes in the circuit. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.